welcome back. Well, you know, no parent wants their child to be sick, but in coastal Virginia, we're lucky enough to have the Ronald McDonald House Charities right here, helping families that are faced with trying times. Here to tell us more are Elise Brown and Jacqueline Beck. Hey, you two, how are you? Good, how are you? Good to see you. Jacqueline, first of all, tell me about your daughter, Riley. Riley was born at 38 weeks and a couple of days. Um, she had some lung issues mm -hmm. and she required a trach and a G-tube. Um, she's now on a home vent, ready to go to TCU. And explain to me what TCU is? Transitional care unit. Okay, so you thought you were gonna be at the hospital for a week. When we first got there, they told us a week, maybe. And how long has it been? It's been almost six months. My goodness. So you have really made a home at the Ronald McDonald House. Yes. I, I couldn't thank them enough for everything that they do for us. Wonderful. Elise, talk to me about how you're helping families like Jacqueline deal with having sick children. It, it's We help people during a very difficult time. We have a beautiful house. I think Jackie would, Jacqueline would tell us that. Um, you have your own room. You could stay as long as your child is in the hospital. And we are within walking distance distance of CHKD so it's a, a great service hopefully that most people will not have to use but when you have to use it we're there for them wonderful and how do families like Jacqueline go about um, mm -hmm. taking advantage of the Ronald McDonald house we work closely with the nurses and the social workers over at CHKD they make referrals to the house um, and then we take care of the families we have a lot of great volunteers who make meals while the families are there um, we have a great staff who welcome the families when they come into the house. Mm -hmm. And our friends at McDonald's, they help us with, with like the Shamrock Shake promotion. Yeah. And you're wearing green today. I am. I didn't even know. <laughs> I'll have to wear it again later this week when they yes. actually uh, bring the Shamrock Shakes. Uh, we'll talk about that in a moment. Okay. But Jacqueline, tell me about Riley. Um, she's a, you know, a baby. She's a year old almost. No, she's, uh, Riley is six months. Oh, wow. Okay, so Riley is six months, not even a year old. Mm -hmm. How are you bonding with her? What is it like going there every day to see her and then see her progress that she's making? It it's amazing to see what progress she has made. Um, it, it was very difficult at times seeing, seeing her, but it's now become our normal. Mm. You know, nobody expects to have their child to have to be in the NICU. Mm. And the NICU family and Ronald McDonald has really helped us a lot overcome our struggles with dealing with her being there. Mm. Tell me about the moments you all share, because she's not able to communicate, uh, but you do have a way of communicating with your baby. Um, with the trach, it takes them a little while to learn how to breathe around it and make noises. Within two days of having her trach, she was already crying around it. Mm. Um, she, she does this growl that she breathes around it and it comes out as a growl, and we just growl at each other. And, <laughs> It's, it's so cute. <laughs> As you anticipate taking her home, because we're promising that's going to happen soon, right? I hope. What do you think about? Uh, it, it's scary to think of the what ifs, but you can't think about the what ifs. You've got to think about now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I could think about what ifs all day long, but ultimately it's what's going to happen now. Yeah. How can people help, Elise? Uh, you guys have been here for 39 years in the Hampton Roads area, but how can we help you? We, uh, you can make donations to the house. We have a wish list. Our website has a lot of good information, and it's rmhcnorfolk.org. We have a, a ton of volunteers who come and make meals for February. People gave us some love, and we had every day except one day covered uh, for dinners for our family. So it's a lot of fun. Now back to the green. So you can actually get a Shamrock Shake yes. and help the Ronald McDonald Charities. For every Shamrock Shake product sold, we will get 25 cents. So get your green on and go to McDonald's, whatever favorite <laughs> McDonald's you have, and get one of the Shamrock Shake products. Wonderful. And we're going to talk about that more on Friday when you bring the Shamrock gr uh, Shake and I wear the green dress again. Yes. And also about the special straw promotion that we're doing. Mm -hmm. So make sure you go to WTKR to find out about this 
really scientifically engineered new straw, <laughs> which is packaged like almost one of those fancy, you know, smartphones. So <laughs> we have three of them. There's only 2,000 in the United States. Mm -hmm. So this is another way that you can uh, get your hands on a limited edition drinking straw and then also help the Ronald McDonald House. Absolutely. You can do good things for us. Wonderful. Thank you two so much. And I want to follow up with you, Jacqueline, to see how Riley's doing. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Okay, sure.